Who are you? Tell me. I want to know who you are. Anybody? Somebody wants to tell me who you are? I'm here available. I'm all ears. I want to hear. Hi, Candace. Hi. I think I'm space. I'm the space inside. Okay, so you think or you are? I, 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 I am. <laughs> <laughs> Because when you say, I think I am space, then there is doubts in there. So, you are space. Great. And do you feel that all the time or you're just feeling it right now? I feel it quite a bit of the time, but not all of the time. Okay. Well, that's a good, honest answer and what are you doing here why are you here i'm here connecting with you and the other the others on the zoom okay now why are you here on this life why were you born why oh, are you on <laughs> <laughs> why are you here on this planet I cancel that I am here to to connect with God to learn that that's who I am. Okay, so you feel like that's your mission on this planet. Yes. Great. Wonderful. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for not being afraid and coming out. You're welcome. Anybody else? Anyone else? Feels like Hi, hi, Amy. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to. Just one second. I'm trying to get you unmuted. Good morning. You, good morning. Um, so the answer to the question is, um, I am an infinite being living a human experience, and I feel like my purpose is to be love and light and to, to also give it and help raise everyone or raise myself and others frequencies or vibration. Okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel that every day? Um, yeah, every moment. Every moment. Maybe even with the down moments of like, I ask myself, what can I do to, to uh, raise my frequency? Right. Beautiful. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming out and showing up. I appreciate it. You're welcome. My pleasure. Thank you for having me here. Yeah. Anybody else? Um. I would say I am higher consciousness living in a third in the dimension in this reality. Well, we're in a dual reality, but um, the the tangible one out there is the the physical and the um, the consciousness one, the higher dimension. Uh, the higher dimensions are the non-physical, so it's. Uh, a dance between both of bringing the higher to, if we want to say the lower vibrations. And um, I particularly liked your, <coughs> excuse me, I particularly liked your um, example yesterday of facing the sun and having the shadow behind. Um, and the awareness of that. So I do try to keep that awareness. No, I'm not in it all the time, or I wouldn't be sitting here with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I am certainly aware of it, and have worked on it, I would say, uh, all of my life, depending on my uh, degree of consciousness at the moment, or my age group uh, of the time, or my whatever. But I was always aware of it, I think, from birth, uh, from whenever I could 
figure it out. But um, I was going to say, yeah, that that was helpful because I, it it seems for me it's an easier if you face the light. Uh, in your example, or the sun, I think is what 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 you said. You face the sun, um, and the, the the shadows, I would say, are the reality of the third dimensional living, and the body was brought into this life, and perhaps past lives, and the karma, and whatever else is going on mm-hmm. uh, that we deal with, not only with ourselves, but of course with everyone else that we encounter along the way. And it helps me in encountering others in just being quiet and to try to be the observer. I, that, that word helps me a lot. I mean, it's the same as awareness. But to in interacting with others, especially those who are not on the same wavelength, and there are very okay. many um, in family and all the rest of it, not to get involved in long confrontations or even in any, you know, let, let each person be unless I am asked or unless I can share something easily, but not, I don't feel I've got an evangelistic mission to go out to convert people or remotely or anything like that. I think just stand in the light, I think Amy said, uh, light and love, I think that's pretty good. I think if we can, uh, I, I try to aim there, around there, and to be, be, and in the being then, hopefully the doing flows, in my better moments, <laughs> right. flows. Right, really. right. You know, we have the downhills and the right. and everything else. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. Try ask this question for a moment, and as you're asking this question, bring your attention up here to your third eye. You may look in here or you may look deep inside yourself as you're asking that question and see what happens in that moment. Just be attentive to it and simply just be available and see what happens when you ask that question. Who am I? See what happens. Now just gently come back anybody wants to share with me what came for you when you asked that question and you were just quiet yeah go ahead Katie that came for you oneness with divine and God so was it like in a, it was like a feeling or you were just gone into it? What happened? You have, you have to talk a little bit louder because, right, the sense of oneness. Right. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Anyone else? Anybody else likes to share? Hi, Roshanak. Hi, Roshanak. Hi, I had this sense of uh, being one with everyone and with the divine. So we are all one. Okay. The energy just acted like that. Beautiful. Great. 